Andrea Lee. She's one of the names tied at the top. And after her round, she spoke with the media. Yeah, I mean, overall, I played pretty solid today. Um, had a, just a couple of bogeys on the front nine and managed to go bogeyless on the on the back, which was just pretty good out here. So, um, but yeah, overall, just played really solid, steady golf, and um, had. Uh, a few putts drop, which is nice to see. New position for you now, and also some big crowds out there. What it's like playing in front of uh, that kind of excitement? Yeah, I mean, yesterday coming off my round, I felt like I was even more nervous than I was today, actually, um, just knowing that I was going to be in the final group of a uh, U.S. Women's Open. Um, but yeah, today I walked out on the tee, and you know, a lot of people were kind of saying, you know, go Andrea, and it was it was really nice to hear that and have the support from the crowd. So honestly, I had a blast out there. I'm just steadily getting a little bit better every year, and just um, finding my you know finding my uh, rhythm out here uh, on tour. Uh, I feel really comfortable, um, especially this season. I feel like this is the most comfortable I've felt out here and the most fun that I've had since turning professional. Um, so I'm just trying to keep it as light as possible and just have a good mindset going into every single tournament. And I think that's panned out really well for me so far. No matter the result tomorrow, with your history with USGA Championships, how cool is this moment just to be here, have people outside the ropes screaming for you and just be in this, uh, this environment this week? Yeah, it's an incredible feeling. You know, it's something that I've always dreamed of, um, you know, vying for major championship wins. Um, Michelle Wee West texted me last night and um, she told me, you know, just whatever the outcome is, just put your 100 percent effort into it. Um, no matter what happens, it's it's a privilege to, you know, be be in this moment to have this opportunity. So I really took that to heart. And um, yeah, today I just tried to have fun out there um, and just play the golf course and, you know, not try to play against the field, just just me and the golf course. Nice of Michelle Wee West reaching out to her fellow Stanford Cardinal Andrea Lee, offering her well wishes and good luck. I know that meant a lot to Andrea. Now she's making her sixth start at the U.S. Women's Open, so she's not new to any of these big moments. She also played in the Solheim Cup in 2023, Mel. What, what do you take away from the performance that you saw from her today? I was really impressed with her, obviously. I mean, I think when I look at her game around here, you know, it's so undulating around here, and it's, it's everything feels like everything is elevated. A lot of the greens here are elevated with steep um, slopes just before the green. And because she doesn't hit it the longest, she's hitting quite long irons, hybrids into a lot of these holes. And if you watch her, she's actually hitting it almost short of the green and then running it up, whereas a lot of players are trying to land it, as you should, as a, if you've got a higher ball flight, 10 or 15 on, which you're kind of shooting over the back. I mean, the way she's judging that on pretty much every single hole is so impressive to me because... It's so narrow into these greens, and she's just... The accuracy and the precision of her and what she's doing is, is something that I'm just really impressed with, and I think she handled herself absolutely beautifully today. Very impressed with her. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. You know, she sits at 66 in the driving distance right now. You go all the way back to as far back as you can find statistics on winners of the U.S. Women's Open. There's nobody who's been that low ranked in driving distance go on to win. Meg mm. Mallon was close in 2004. Hillary Lunke was close in 2003, but they were not that lowly ranked in driving distance. And you're talking about a golf course that's 6,500 yards long, so it's a, it's a long golf course. Uh, but because the fairways are so firm, she can get a lot of roll and get it out there a fair distance. Now, here she is at the seven. And you talk about a little BB. I mean, 42 feet apex. So just watch how far this rolls. Uh, you know, I mean, straight is the name of her game. And so, you know, she's able to get this role on these fairways. You know, she's playing with Wachani Michai, who's not long really by any stretch of the imagination either. Uh, but you get a sense here of the disadvantage that Andrea Lee is facing shot after shot, because you'll see this ball just blow right past Andrea Lee at the seventh. And so when you get to holes like 10, which is, to your point, Mel, right uphill, this is a long hole. She's got to bow up to make par, which she did today. She came up well short. She had some 180 yards into that hole location. Wasn't able to get it up on the green, but did a nice job saving par. Go to the 18th, which is the second hardest hole on this golf course, and this is 207, but all uphill. So, I mean, she's got to smoke this, and she gave it everything she had. And look at this. I mean, this is a heck of a shot. I mean, that is... That is a long shot, gave it everything she had, managed to get it onto the green, and so she took care of business at the 10th, she took care of business at the 18th. So 
Uh, that was, you're, you're absolutely right. She's squeezing every single drop of juice uh, out of that game to get where she's at right now on this golf course. And Yukas also might be leading the field in strokes game putting, but number two is Andrea Lee. And uh, that putting has gotten a little bit of help also from Meg Mallon and Beth Daniel. They gave her a little putting lesson at the Cognizant Founders Cup a few weeks ago. She said that it's just a little tip. You know, it's, she's making sure to use her, her big muscles, but clearly it seems like those golfing greats have uh, made their mark on Andrea Lee's game this week.